Well, good morning. Here at Acres of Reed, we thought we'd do a, an update on our grapes. Um, how we're training them. As you can see, I've already actually just finished trimming this one up and working on the training. I'll talk about that here in a second. And then I've done the other one over by our trash cans, and then this one still needs to be done. After planting it and making sure that the roots are established and we had new growth, I then cut it back. You can see the, uh, the original stalk here. Once we verified that we had new growth, I cut it back to two. It was this one. And this one. Oh, here's the cut. Okay. These are the two I left. The reason why I leave t left two is they had new growing tips. This is what a growing tip looks like. And I didn't know which one would be the stronger since it was off the same, the same spot. So I waited for it to get long enough to be able to train to the height. And I took the one that was the longer, which means it's the stronger one. So I cut this one. I just brought this one up. Now because of weight, it, the uh, main stem is going to lean. And because it leans, when you tie it, you're going to want to come underneath where you'll have one of these runners, or um, I forget what they're called. These are the things that cling on and give it strength. So wherever this is a joint, it'll be stronger. So you want to tie underneath this joint up to your wire, and then you're going to want to cinch it up so that you have a nice straight and vertical growth in your grapevine. Then I brought the rest of my growth up here. I just left a string that I will, as it grows a little bit more, just work on training it up until it gets to the top like we did at the other one. Now, this one here already had a lateral on it, which is this one. If you don't take off your laterals, it's going to suck off all the energy and it won't grow vertically. It'll continue out. This would actually, if we let it go long enough, this is the one that would actually have um, grapes on it. It would put out flowers, etc. But we're, we're taking that off this year because we don't want the grapes this year. We want to fill our trellis so that we can then next year have the grapes. And the laterals will come out and you find the ones that are closest to your wires. You'll cut off the extras. You'll train out your laterals along your wire and then eventually you'll cut off your growing tips on those and they'll put out their laterals at that point which then by gravity will fall down. They only get about three feet long. That's why you want this distance. So that's the, the method that we're using to train these. I'll go show you the other one I've done. And this one is ready did the same method that's why there's two on here it's looking like this back one's a longer one so I'll actually cut this one off and then train this up but I'm not going to show that right now now this one when we got to it, it was really laying down so even though I've tied it as you'll see here you don't want to overdo it too much because you can actually break it so as it strengthens I'll actually cinch this up harder and tighter to get this more vertical. You don't have to have it perfectly straight. It's just, you know, advisable. This will get really thick and eventually over the years it'll be like a tree trunk. They get really big and fat. So we brought this up. We already had two laterals on this one. So we're bringing them out and we just train them on. Uh, I don't think I tied this one. Yeah, I got one tie, but I'm just using its own natural things and you just wrap it around. You don't do it real tight. They'll just naturally when the sun hits them start to dry and they, they'll cinch around it. And what you'll wait is for this to get longer than the length that you want it to be and then you cut it back. You'll take off the growing spur here. You'll take it back to one just above here. And when, it, when you do that it signals it to put out its laterals. 
and so we have this one coming out over here also and you do the same thing for wherever you want it to be we'll have it cover the whole thing and we've already got this trained up the Lord is growing it magnificently and it's it's above here it's at the height that we want now and it's time for me to cut here and if you look right in front of my finger here that is a new lateral starting and this is a new lateral so when we cut it here all the energy will go into these and we'll get our, our horizontal growth that we want so this one's going to actually cover what we want this year and we might actually still if it gets long enough we'll be able to cut it off in time and we might actually still get a few grapes before the end of the the growing season who knows it's up to the lord but we're only looking for it next year so that's how we're training them and i hope this has been uh, beneficial and a blessing to someone be a cloud watch.